What? Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He just bespoke weaponry? Of course! I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. He seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. And if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. He's certainly committed to his work. Paimon will give him that. Temper isn't great, but leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need. This is it, one of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes, 
I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Huh? Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. You can use that console to open the door. Huh. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up. we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I, I mean... A librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right?
I'll keep this close. with things. Let's head back to the Statue of the Seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. Incinerate! <laughs> You've arrived. Come closer. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. Oh, oh, you're quite the brave one, aren't you? It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the four winds. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Taken. You don't seem to have a vision. 
So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange occurrence. Use the wind currents to fly up. Observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. Dodge this! Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the Acting Grand Master about it. Using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo! What a performance! You are, to my surprise, a well trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp! I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. There's no way hilly churls organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Avonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting.
I'll keep this close. Blessings of the Seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animaculi. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animaculi and maybe you'll receive more blood.
Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn or brains. So, what does that leave? I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Let's ride this wind current, shall we? Sweeties. Closer. Blitz. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. set off between electro-charged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? 
No, I doubt it. After all, hilly trills aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a Magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the Four Winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. It's finally done! Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. <laughs> can smell fish. Mmm, the aroma is coming from Good Hunter. A thick slice of soft white toast topped with a generous serving of onion slices lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum, yum. Paimon's made up her mind. It's an emergency. We must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from Good Hunter pronto. It's on you, of course. Let's go and see what 
she wants. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with her. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards, and it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Add Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. <laughs> Delicious! Hum, hum, hum. Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best! This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook! You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster! Don't you let me down!
This is bad. Such a hassle. Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already! How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But... The immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. The world we live in is fascinating. Full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. Holy moly, that's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword! Well, let's go to the Adventurer's Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? <laughs>